Keaton, many congratulations. Cheers, mate. You like batting here, don't you? <laughs> yeah, look, it was, it was a good day today. Um, I suppose it's one of those you get into a position where uh, you could ex- sort of push the game on. Um, luckily, it came off. Um, a few sort of went over the rope and went into gaps. Um, but hopefully we can get up to the 350 mark and get another point. That session after T, did that go just about according to plan, as well as it could have done? Yeah, look, I think all, all the sessions were s- sort of really good. Um, it felt really hard work this morning. Um, it was tough to sort of get the ball away. Um, you kind of had to get a bad ball to hit it. Um, so I thought the guys battled away beautifully. It was all the way down. I thought the guys played beautifully. Greeny looked absolutely set, which was awesome. Um, disappointed not to kick on, but that's that's life. Um, but I thought the guys guys played beautifully. So like I say, hopefully tomorrow we can get up to 350 and then see how far we can kick on. You seem to kind of build into it as the as the day went on. Just take us to the first, to first thing this morning. How tricky was it early on in that kind of first hour or so? Yeah, look. I, it felt like the, the ball sort of hit the top of the bat. Um, I think historically, yeah, there is that sort of tennis ball bounce that you feel like you can nick off from a good length. Um, I thought maybe they bowled a little bit short with a new ball, which allowed us to get on top of the bounce or to play and miss. Um, I think it got slightly easier as the day went on, but you saw when sort of Baldy walked in, there were still balls jumping from a good area that made it hard work. Um, I thought his the partnership we, we shared was really good. Mm. Um, I thought he played beautifully the way he took on the spinner up and over the top I thought was sensational and they had to bring back their their big guys in that sort of phase between 65 and 80 which I thought gets another spell into them Um, that obviously damages you for the new ball but then also for second innings because it's more overs into your big lads Um, so I thought he read that beautifully Um, and then obviously at the end you try and take a few calculated risks um, batting with Nath Um, and to be fair he called it beautifully he was almost leading me out there which is good fun. And for you personally, you got 118 not out overnight. Um, I mentioned how much you clearly enjoy batting. Mm. You've had great success here. Is it how much? How nice is it to go out and bat on the ground where you know you've had previous success? Uh, yeah, I, I think my mentality around that's probably changed quite a bit since I was younger. Um, I think when I was younger, almost um, if I didn't do well straight away, it almost panicked me. I think now, as you get older, you get slightly more grey haired. You, you you learn different ways of coping with the ground that you do or don't do well because you've done well historically. Doesn't necessarily mean that you'll arrive and perform, especially against a new ball. Um, so look, it's a ground I enjoy. I think even playing here with Durham years and years ago, it's it's a ground where people feel they're on top of you, and it has a really really nice feel. So look, to to come here, push us into a good position, I believe, in the game um, is is awesome. Um, and to get them back out there tomorrow in the whites, I think is even better. It's your fourth century this summer, Keaton. How well do you feel you're playing at the minute? Uh, yeah, look, I think you, you sort of play whatever you see. Um, I've always been a believer that regardless of how well you're doing individually, it's a, it's about team success and team performance. So last week for me, actually, I said before the day's play that for me it was one of the best weeks. You walk away from a week with 23 points. Um, for me, it was fantastic. So I, I've always been a big believer of that. Um, to contribute towards team success is ideally what you want to do, and I'm, I'm grateful that today has been my day. You've... You're eight down overnight. You're talking about trying to get to 350. That feels like a really good score. Absolutely, it feels a touch wood. Feels slightly above par. Um, whether the heavy roller kills it, I'm not sure. But I think Nath will play a sort of bigger role than their spin. Um, but yeah, look, I, I sort of said to to a couple of uh, to Sagas and Tom um, out in the middle. I thought it was a 270, 280 par, and I think we're probably slightly above it. Um, whether it flattens out, I'm not sure. Um, but we'll find out tomorrow. Congratulations, Kevin. Well, about it. Cheers, Scotty. Thank you.